and we're good to go. We're live in three, two, one. Well, we were already live, so I suppose that doesn't really matter. We need to, we need to have an intro for this. We need to make intros for our videos, and we need an outro because if you like watch the videos like I recorded with Luke, we have like we have no outro like. I used his outro from like his vlog channel and then like the other one we were just like sitting there messing around like we didn't really know what to say and he kind of closed it out but I feel like we need like like a like a catchphrase you know what I'm saying like like Luke's is like I'm Luke you're not that's what I said at the end of the yoga challenge video I was like he's Luke you're not and then like the other video we did um I like the artistic integrity of just cutting it right away <laughs> there's nothing that's what we, like in the yoga challenge video like you know when i'm like we're like back to back it was like the last i think the last position we did yeah and uh we were like screaming he wanted to just cut it there and but i was like no like that's like the most weird way to cut it i think i mean it would have been funny but like i wanted i wanted the people to love it no i found i found that video i, I just liked how it was like a proof of concept that we don't all have to be together to do a video. Yeah. And you two did very well. Oh, damn. I appreciate and that. I can't wait to uh, to see the other challenge. I don't know. It, that will probably be our next video. This or this will probably... This, this will, will, I think this will come out before the next challenge video, I believe, because I'm going to finish it as soon as we're done with it. And then what? Release this? Is this coming out Monday? Yeah. And then I'm going to assume Luke will have the challenge done by Tuesday. Probably, I would assume, just like give them time, and we could release it Tuesday or Wednesday. But yeah. if you so, have this done, yeah. Oh. So insight into uh, how this works at the moment, um, it seems like it's a two-man job for editing videos between me and Luke. Yeah, and then you have been in every video. I know. I'm gonna try to keep a streak going. Well, Luke's been in every video too. Uh, I guess, I mean, like, you're not in this video, but you're in the video. Luke well, is like, not going to be in this. This isn't, like, a video video. I mean, it's a podcast, but, like, we'll have video later on. I know this one is more just audio, so. Yeah, uh, yeah. But, for like, for the two reasons being, I don't feel like dealing with that right now. No, and most every podcast starts out with just two people chilling in a room talking. Yeah, but no it would be cool to, like, have, like, a scene. Like, we can use the flag that we have in the living room. It's like a backdrop type thing. Like, we could do this on the couch or, like, at a table or something. But, like, a video would be cool. Especially because, like, if something happens, like, everyone can see what happens. Because we're probably going to do some dumb stuff. Because, well, that's us. I'm trying to figure out, like, I don't know how to put it. I don't, I, I'm trying to figure out, uh, like, what we can do past what we've already done. When it comes to just, like, the actual content of it. We have some super funny ideas that we were not, we were unfortunately not able to film tonight. But like we have, uh, we have a skit planned. Connor has another challenge planned as well. So there's like two or three, I think. Two or three, and I have a skit, and obviously this podcast will try and make it um, weekly. I we could do this weekly. This takes an yeah. hour out of our time. I mean, we can. It kind of. I feel like you'll probably be in every single one. And it might be like one other domer, like like today it's just me. But like, yeah. Or there could be times where there's a few of us. I mean, I don't know if we have all the stuff for that yet. But like, I mean, it'll be different every week. And I, I mean, we're just gonna talk about random stuff, like whether mm -hmm. it's just the channel or like literally anything. I mean, it can it's just supposed to be a laid back vibe. And like, yeah. I don't know. I feel like it'd be cool if we like do something with uh, like the girlfriends of like stuff. Like you, I think you mentioned that. Yeah, I like our you, girlfriends. No. Or are we just gonna use others? <laughs> <laughs> we like hire someone <laughs> no i'm just kidding <laughs> at this point, why not at this point no nah, we're chilling but uh i don't know i mean some something like that would be cool but i mean this channel can literally go in any direction like i don't want it to be set like one way which i think we're already like off to a good start with that because we have like your series you kind of started with that which was our first video and, yeah, like, yeah, for, yeah for anyone that doesn't know brandon could probably go into more depth with this in a second but like I know we had like some people like people love the video but then we like some people say like the whole kitchen part didn't make sense but like um the whole point of that video is kind of like it's like an inside like the dome like kind of like a background thing that's more of like a brandon thing so like he'll probably explain more of his vision with that but like just so everyone kind of knows like it was supposed to be kind of like no real meaning for sure like it's more just 
this is kind of what literally like the life here is like like we literally have people over and we're just chilling in the kitchen and there'll be like two or three different conversations going on at the same time so but i mean you could probably explain that better than i can because you have like an idea with it yeah the so actually to put everything uh into perspective if you go to the playlist section of our youtube channel you'll see a bunch of empty playlists for stuff we haven't made yet but we do have an idea of the type of stuff we'll be making so um my series the inside series that he was talking about uh, it'll be a lot more of It'll be a lot more laid back than a lot of challenges or vlogs will be. And it'll uh, be me going around with the guys with ideas I've had that are a lot more artistic and we won't be as as rambunctious because it's something we're passionate and want to do. For instance, for the first couple of videos, I've already had the idea. Uh, we're going to take the guys back to places where they grew up and basically look at all these cool places that they might not have been to for years. And that'll be the idea for it for the first little while. And then... Along with that series, we'll also have this series, the podcast series, which is probably my other biggest responsibility right now, are the podcasts. Mm -hmm. Also in that playlist section, you'll see skits. Uh, our first skit is planned. Uh, I pretty much have the script, quote unquote, <laughs> for it. But um, that will also be another type of thing we'll be making. And up in the air right now, and definitely not something you guys should you know, expect in the coming days, but... It'll be Connor's own personal sort of vlog uh, because Connor is definitely out of the five of us, one of the most interesting cats, probably somebody you'd want to follow around in a day. Although you <laughs> might only see three places, I think you can still make that fun. <laughs> you'll see, my life will contain Dairy Queen, college, and the dome probably. I mean, I'll go do things, but I need people to go do them with. I can't just go alone. Actually, I could go alone. I almost went to the Browns game alone, so. <laughs> You're so stupid. I wish you would have filmed more at that Browns game. Yeah, I mean, or not either, to get, either like, of them. Yeah, not to get off track. I don't know. It was just like I was trying to experience, especially because like, I mean, the season didn't go the way like we wanted to go. Obviously, like everyone expected, but like, <laughs> but like it was still fun because like going from a team that was 0 and 16 and then had a terrible start last year, like we were like to kind of see how that went this year. I mean, a lot of things happened. The Dolphins game was fun because, I mean, we just kicked the Dolphins' butt. I'm so and, pissed I still had to work on that day. Yeah, and I, you're a fan of the Dolphins, and I just wanted to laugh in your face. But, you know, Mason took your spot, and he wore the uh, hoodie in honor of you. So, I mean, at least he did that. He could have not. I mean, he got a few fingers, but, hey, go Browns. But the Steelers game, that was – that – if I would have been recording, like, it would have been a funny recording because just the things that happened, like the argument Luke and I got into. But then, like, at the same time, I don't want to, like, record other people because, like, some people react differently. That's you know? not that's not what I'm asking. I just like just the know. experience, yeah. Just kind of like film yourselves and talk about what's yeah, interesting about we it. We talked about it, but it was just kind of like I don't know. For a while, we were just kind of sitting there, and it was like I don't know. We could have, I guess, like, explored the stadium because Heinz Field is super, super cool. Like the whole thing they have, they have like this whole like Walk of Fame for Pittsburgh. But um, I don't know. When I mean, we were just there, and I kind of wanted to like bring it in. That's my first time ever like in an away game for a professional sport, so. I kind of wanted to like enjoy that and you know enjoy the uh, banter that goes on, which a lot of banter did go on. I mean that's what happens when you walk into enemy territory with the another jersey, with a lot of drunk people. But hey, it was fun. All right, so to put us back on topic to finish <laughs> this, there's really no other news to really talk about with the uh, channels right now. We have it all set up. You guys can see it. Make sure you do go follow us on Twitter at both the Dude Dome and at our own twitter accounts if you want even more of us than you already have I think those are in the uh those uh, are in the description below you yeah, can go ahead I and click those he put them in the uh twitter banner too or header oh yeah luke did that i think he there's so many links to our twitter accounts on the youtube page anyway go like show some love like you can access like, basically go do all that we appreciate it and so far we've had i'd say um two successful videos yeah i mean i feel like Especially just like, just kind of like, I mean, like, we all, we come from different schools, so it's like, I mean, we know different people and stuff, but like, I don't know, I just feel like they turned out a lot better than I thought initially. Like, I didn't think we were going to get 200, 300 views like that off rip, but like, I mean, I'm very thankful for that. And like anyone that shows support and love, like, I appreciate that because I mean. Yeah, the, the most encouraging part to me is that I've been able to interact with and see people that none of us know. Yeah, because like my thing is, it's like it's it's great if I look in the comments and I see people that 
I know leave something positive, but when people like a uh, like a uh, foot lady, the the woman who left a comment on the uh, she seemed like a very kind. Of, I mean, no, I, that, yeah, I think I just took that the wrong way the first well, time. Well, I mean, I guess like if it's in our it's in our uh, yoga challenge video. If anyone's wondering, like she gave us a recommendation of like a thing, and then like she told us to like not have our socks on, which was like, but I think that's part of the challenge. But it was just kind of like funny. I just, think it would have been more helpful. I think you would have had better traction. Well, with socks. Without socks. Well, yeah, that's what. Yeah, that's she what she was like saying. Yeah. Like they kind of like have the leg wrestling, I think. Which I don't know. We can test it, but I don't know how the, how that would turn. I mean, <laughs> we might just do it for fun, honestly. Start <laughs> leg wrestling each other. Among other comments, what was the comment that got everybody besides me up in arms? The comment on the oh, first video. Oh, the, the guy Young Blow, who like it was on our first video. Like I said, like a lot of people don't understand the context of the video at first. And, like he said, it was the dumbest video ever. I'm like. I mean, we're just laughing, and then he said something about the girls in the video, and uh, did he, he the, did when he said you girl, you, I I said, wonder if he meant you. No, he said yo, he's like, guys in your like your girls bad though. I thought it was or just something bad like that. Oh. Um, which I mean, like people just say that stuff. I mean, over the internet, but I guess we were just like we were kind of just like messing with it, having fun. Uh, like he, he commented, me, he commented back. I think he had a good spirit about it. Well. Someone said we can give, like, Eddie said, oh, I can give you their snaps. And he said, drop them. And he said, oh, that's what he, never mind. I didn't know that's yeah, what he said. Yeah, and then, like, me and Luke, uh, like, dropped our snaps and stuff, which I think is funny. Did you really drop your snaps? Yeah. King underscore CMC, add me if you want that inside scoop. No, I'm just kidding. I don't. You are not going to see anything of value on your Snapchat. No, nah, no. Nah, I mean. It's usually not. No, nah, I'm actually really bad at adding people back on Snap, too, but, um. I don't know. It's just because, like, I'll see it, and, like, I'll be doing something usually when I see it, so then, like, I forget. And then I'll go into, like, the add friends section just because, like, sometimes I look. And then, like, I'll see, like, a list of people that added me. And I'm like, oops. But I feel like a lot of people can agree with me that they do that. Um, so if I haven't added you, I'm sorry. It's nothing personal. You can just probably try to re-add me and I'll probably see it and then forget again. So I, I don't know. One day you'll get added if you haven't. Uh, it's, it's nothing personal. <laughs> it's just I'm really... bad, And I'm not... I mean, like, I go on social media, but I'm not huge on... I'd rather be human, like, human interaction with people. So like sitting on social media and stuff all the time, but I tend to do it because I get bored so easily. Preach it. <laughs> Wait, what was? What were you talking about? There? I don't know. <laughs> if I got off track, you, that doesn't make sense. You, I'm you sorry. went from I'll t like follow me on Snapchat to <laughs> oh I forget to add people back and forget then, to add people back and then you talk about human interaction and why I mean, that's important. I don't know. They all. I mean, I don't know. I was just explaining myself in that situation. Basically, what I'm saying is you can add me on Snap, and if I add you back, awesome. You're more than welcome to have a conversation with me. Um, if I don't add you back, I apologize. It's nothing personal. That's what I was trying to say. Did uh, did Luke put our snaps in that description? No, I don't know if everyone wants their snaps on there. Yeah, I don't want mine on there. No, I know. I don't think Which I'm good with like, it. Fine, that's why. Well, I, I mean, it doesn't really matter. I just... I mean, yeah, it's social media, and you have to add him back anyways. But still, I mean, if you don't want that... Follow me on my Twitter, though. I'm, I'm out for that Twitter clout. That's the only cloud I care about. Brandon will tweet the most like random things, but like it's it's goofy, funny. Like I mean, he got an argument with Peta. Oh or, my not, or, god! Arg not an argument with Peta. I'm gonna like, put that up right here. That argument with Peta, where I remember this so, oh, because Peta tweeted out something about uh, Steve Irwin, the croc the 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 crocodile guy. Oh yeah, the the, the, the guy. Australian guy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, they tweeted about like what he would do is he would take. Um, I want to say this crocodiles not alligators crocodiles he'd take them and he'd put them Little into the sanctuaries and stuff and PETA instead of being like a normal decent group of human beings decided that that was like torture for the crocodiles being saved so on his birthday they shame tweeted him on his on his like his like real birthday not like an anniversary of death yeah like yeah. they like oh happy birthday to the guy that you know whatever like captured and kept all these crocodiles like so, you're 100 percent on that or is that just like no they literally did that i, I, I mean i don't know i remember seeing like the that's why that's why i did it because like pete is annoying like just in general just with the way they've they take that 16 year old white girl approach to problems which is just yelling at it until they do something <laughs> which is why they don't do anything but i kept i kept subtweeting them and subtweeting them and obviously they were never going to respond to me because I'm sure they get talks to so get so many shit tweets that they're not going to respond to it. But what I did was 
I laid the sarcasm on thick because they had another tweet a little bit later about how every place that serves food should have a, or any place that serves like a smoothie or a milkshake should have oatmeal. Like the supplement for like in shakes like that. One of those like oats. They put like oats yeah, in that. Like oat shakes. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, oh, this takes me back to summer 16 when me and the boys would go out late oh, yeah, and get oatmeal shakes. This is when they replied. I remember that. And they replied to that by saying like, oh, yes, great memories. And I was like, got him. <laughs> I, I literally subtweeted again. I was like, like boys, we got him. We got PETA. Yeah, <laughs> it was no, so funny. I remember seeing that. I think I was just at work and then I, I just saw you tweet and I was like, oh, Brandon hasn't tweeted in a while or because usually when you tweet like i don't know you tweet like sarcastic like political things so it's like it's like you're not trying to be serious but like some no. i mean i guess maybe you are i don't know maybe i'm wrong but like no I I, i'm good. not it's as like, oh. i'm nowhere near as political as i used to be with oh, my no, tweets used to be super oh my god but I, I like no i gave up man i gave up on trying like plus i was i was like young and then when i saw all these other younger kids being all like like hating on Trump, I was like, it's just not even cool anymore. So I'm just not gonna do it. <laughs> but I have like no like on it. Well, I have one problem with the guy. Honestly, he made fun of people with like brain injuries and stuff. I was oh, like, oh yeah, I remember. No, whoa, don't. <laughs> I should probably cut that out. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna cut that I'm out. Yeah, cut that out. <laughs> so sorry, there's gonna be no context right there for anyone. But he had to cut <laughs> something out. Uh, but I mean, for like anyone that doesn't know, I mean, Brandon, Brandon got into actually a very serious injury in like high school. Oh yeah. I mean, it's a lot of, I think a lot of people do know cause like, but, um, yeah, it's my defining feature. Yeah. <laughs> so my defining feature is my disability. It's, no, it's not. I mean, I don't, he just had a, re he had re really bad head injuries, like from hockey and stuff. And like, it just, it got really bad, really bad for him. And like, um, but I mean, Honestly, the way you came back is cool. The fact that you didn't play, like, your sophomore and junior year, and then the fact that you come back your senior year, have, like, a crazy Keep good year, and then you guys freaking win the league. Like, yeah, won the league. I mean, <laughs> I never got to win a league. <laughs> no, not quite, did you? No, no I, mean, I got yeah. to witness, like, other teams from field, like, yeah. win a league and stuff. But, like, um, like shout out the girls' soccer team and the boys' baseball team. And, um, oh, no, now that I had started listening to people, I should probably know everyone that won a league, huh? Uh -oh. No, nobody cares. Um, well, you all know. Yeah, I mean, those are just some of the ones I gotta remember. But I mean, I don't know. We just football and basketball. We just weren't good at, and or we just couldn't. We just couldn't. We couldn't win. Well, I might even say we we're bad. We just couldn't win. No, I mean. No, wait, hold on. I want to go back to everything you said about me. Absolutely true. I am. I am that dude. You know, put the team on, put the team on his back. Okay. Take um, him to the finish line all by myself. Okay. Yeah, that league championship I won. Yeah. Yep, me. Listen, listen. Me okay. all the way. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Uh, with the contributions of many great players who were not as good as me, they helped me. Oh my god. <laughs> just he, uh, listen, he uh, he can have an ego in hockey. I'll let it slide, but anything else, I don't let him have it. Um, we play one-on-one -on -one basketball a lot. And he like beat me like a few times, but in the in in the overall record, I'm dominating him. I'm like a one on one god tier master. Ask anyone. Ask anyone. Ask anyone. They'll tell you. If you're a one on one god tier like basketball player, how come I've beaten you then? I mean you have slip ups day or maybe I'll let you in. I'm not gonna you tell you that. Slip ups. I know the you one day it was had when like I wore, five I wore different shoes the one day you beat me. Yeah. I beat you like four times, I think. You beat me four times compared to like the 100 something I've beaten you. That's probably. such. A, the, yeah, I would not. The amount play of times we played our whole lives knowing each other, I've definitely beaten you a bunch. More. I rarely ever played you when we were that young. I mean, like, like I didn't care about you until the sixth grade. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, here. Actually, you know what? This actually, uh, this story will sum up our, our friendship pretty good. You ready? Yeah, let it rip. Let it rip. So, me and Connor have known each other since we were elementary school. Ten, probably probably known each other for almost 10 years now and yeah, give or take yeah so he uh his decision was so we recognized we both played soccer when we were that when we were young which i was also very good at soccer he was i'm not gonna i lie. was very he good was at soccer good. i was super good um but anyway i recognized him from school but we, we weren't close like that in school but we saw each other we played soccer and we recognized each other 
and we've had like conversations and stuff, but we haven't. We're not like we're not like so we see each other at the game. We're like, hey, how are you? Yeah, we were. I mean, we'd maybe wave or something, but it was nothing yeah. like. It, it, we really weren't friends. I guess we were acquaintances at the time. Yeah, but but th this is what makes the story even better. So I'm doing my thing. He's doing his thing. And at some point in the game, we're both running towards the ball. And this kid decides, <laughs> no way I beat him to the ball. And even if I do, he's probably still going to take it off me. So I'm going to trip the shit out of him. <laughs> I took him so fast to the ground like like so hard i think they blew the whistle on me yeah i think you got a card i think you got a yellow card for that yeah, or, or no, the I equivalent did, I remember of it. getting out i remember that i got taken out or whatever and the coach was like yeah you got a yellow card and, and like i knew soccer but i didn't know soccer but i just played it because the best part about that memory is when i fall and i turn around to look at you and you have this smug ass smile like you knew exactly what you did. <laughs> well, you knew exactly what you did to me and you were so happy about it. And the the beatdowns haven't changed. I physically beat him and verbally beat him every day. No, I'm just kidding. I love verbally B. beat me. I don't think you physically beat me in anything. <laughs> no, nah, I'm just kidding. I love B. Me and B just have that like relationship where we just like dog each other all the time, but like we know it's love. I mean sometimes we 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 get a little too serious with each other, but I mean, that's basically what family does, so. Wow, that was beautiful. Yeah, you know, I'm out here, words of wisdom. You need words of wisdom ever. If you ever need them, just let me know. I got you. I can hit you with some crazy quotes, like, like why make sense when you can make dollars. I'll hit you with that one. All right, I'm going to put us back on track here. <laughs> yeah, honestly, I, I know we've been off track for a while. Sorry, everyone. So, uh, last, uh, well, not last, but uh, we've actually been wanting to do this podcast longer than we wanted to do the actual, like, Dude Dome channel. Yeah, I mean, I think it was... This was, like, the first thing we wanted to do, and we finally, we're finally finally doing it. Yeah, I know, like, you talked about a lot. And, like, I know you like podcasts the most, but... Uh, nice, nice, nice. We didn't Jesus. Interrupt. But, like, you like to do uh, podcasts the most. And, like, I mean, they're always cool. Like, I listen to them. I listen to new podcasts. And I've always been down to do one. It's just we never really did it. I mean, we've either been busy or just things, uh, things never worked out in that manner. I like the format to get to know people. I feel like if you watched... The yoga challenge, even or even if you watch the first video, you don't. I like to like the only way I get fully involved with whether it's uh, another YouTuber or a musician or anything. I have to kind of know them on a reasonable level before I really like them. So that's why I think these are important for us because we a lot of us can come off as complete characters in a lot of videos, and it's almost like we we script it in a way. But we really don't, though. Besides, like our 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 uh, skits. skits, yeah, yeah. Like, I don't know. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. No, but it's just like I just don't want people to think, like, yes, we're very goofy and we're very um. What is it? What's the word for it? outgoing? Out, yeah, sure, outgoing. I guess like I don't know, we're outgoing, yeah. goofy, and energetic. But I, I I need like for me to feel good about doing this, I need to know that people have another side. And I think doing that is kind of what my job is. Yeah. I don't know. I know a lot of people know me as, like, a goofy or, like, like I guess outgoing, energetic, or hyper. But, like, I'm calm, I promise. I'm calm, like, when I want to be. But for the most part, I just want to be upbeat. I'm an upbeat person. Yeah. Mm hmm Yeah. Extro extrovert? Extrovert, right? Sure. Or is it introvert? No, introverts, you, introverts, like, a person who keeps themselves is extrovert yep 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 okay well um i mean other than that i guess like i'm i'm like uh i'm very happy where we're at right now i feel like we're finally doing something that has a bit of value to it yeah uh, it just gives us it gives us something to do too like i mean we've all been busy with school and like i feel like having this to do is just something like to kind of like let off like the stress and just like something to do and, like bond with each other i mean i guess we live with each other so besides like luke doesn't live with us but he basically lives here in spirit do you want to know what else important is happening in the month of december christmas no nope. end of a decade no nope. is there supposed to be something crazy going on in december yeah something crazy shit's going on in december you know it my brother's birthday why the hell would i care which one? Caden. All right. So why the hell would I care? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I know. 
I'm, I'm trying to think. It's the biggest thing happening forever. This is the last big thing that will ever happen. It's going to make a billion dollars. Oh, that's too much of a hint. Come on. Wait. A billion dollars? Yeah. I don't know. Are you serious? I feel like I should, but now I'm like... Something big that's coming this month. Oh, Star Wars. Yeah, here you go. Jesus. I'm sorry. I I was just like... I don't know. Yeah, of course Star Wars, bro. I freaking love Star Wars. I freaking love that stuff. I think it's going to be bad. I don't think... Uh... I, mean, I, I think it could be... I, I, I rewatched The Force Awakens yesterday. Yeah. And then I uh, watched The Last Jedi. And through The Last Jedi, I ended up um, watching... Let's say only the Luke Skywalker parts. I literally fast forward through everything else. I couldn't stand I think, it. I think it'll be good. I think I think they'll find a way for it to be like... a Because it's, it's going to end it. Like This is the end of the whole thing. I mean, I guess if you want... I'm mean, like I know Star Wars and I'll talk about it, but like if there's anyone you want to talk to Star Wars to, it's Luke. That L- Luke will literally answer anything about it, literally anything. He'll tell you how long their fingernails are. He knows that much. No, I'm just playing. But uh, I th- I think it'll still be good. I mean I think they gotta have to end the whole trilogy and like series of like Skywalker. If if we go with Luke to see that movie, we need to film him during it. Oh, I, I think he's going with a group uh, of people already. He needs to film it. Um, he is. He's doing it for his own personal channel, though. Like what? his his personal vlogs. I mean, I, I bet you he can give us a clip or two. But I mean, he's doing that for his own personal stuff, which is fair. So we're allowed to do our own personal stuff. Yeah, I mean, it's not like we're on a contract. Which in like, that case, we're about to. You know, I can't be bothered to make videos for this channel and my other one. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I. I thought about it, like, making one, like, just for, like, the vlog stuff. But, like, I don't know. Not anytime soon. Um, I just, I want to, like, focus on this and build the dude dome to, like, a higher, higher standard before I even start worrying about other stuff. Besides, I have, like, so much other stuff going on. The last thing I, I just can't put more on my plate right now, you know? Yeah. Speaking of Luke and stealing content for himself. What let's talk about everybody who isn't here. Let's talk about Luke in particular to start. What about him? Uh give me your give me a give me uh three words to describe Luke. Um He's I don't know, he's a very No I mean, three words. Alright, well I mean I'm trying to like I'm gonna say like him in a sentence, you know what I'm saying? Like like I don't know, I think he's a very outgoing dude. He's super kind. Outgoing kind. Yeah, super kind, outgoing. And he, there's so many words to describe. I mean, he's very creative. Like, I don't know, his mindset is cool. And, like, and there's, he's funny, too. I guess that's more. But he's funny. He's understanding, too. I don't know. He's just a cool dude. Like, I, like I told him before. Like, I used to be scared of the dude before I met him. But, like, now he's just nothing but, a, like, a, a big bear. <laughs> as yeah, as nothing said. scares me than a big white dude from the suburbs who plays, uh, what is it, football? Yeah, the one where you kick the ball in the goal. No, it's playing. Yeah, yeah he one? played football for uh, Magadar. No, uh, let me let me do it. Um, he is. It's really hard to do it for somebody that you've known for a couple months. That's what I mean. Like I was trying to think. Nah, like, I'm just kidding. This is easy. Luke is funny. I saw that. Yeah, I don't care. I agree with you. Yeah, you do. He's also graceful. Okay, big words, big words. Majestic. Let me, and. This isn't going to be one word, but he, he carries a certain vibrato. How are you about to hold up? How are you about to say this isn't one word, but when I was about to go do it, you're like, no, I, I'm one getting word. to the word. I'm getting, I, I, I give oh, you, you my two, sentence. I'm getting to the okay. word. Okay. He, okay. he gives off a gracious vibrato to other people that makes you feel relaxed in his presence. I don't know. He, yeah. So the word That's I'd use for that dude. is sexy. <laughs> Luke, I, 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 love, I love hanging out with Luke. Like, uh, he's like, I don't explain it. Like I don't even think I need to need to explain it. Like we all know like how much we respect each other and stuff. Yeah, we should also mention that Luke doesn't live here. I don't know if people would even get the context of that if they yeah, didn't. Yeah, I mean know. I guess if people know us personally they'll know that. But yeah, Luke doesn't live in the house because like um that was just never part of the plan. But I mean he basically lives here. And I would I would say. I mean he's He's here a lot. He's here a lot and we've always kinda of told him he's more than welcome. It's just 
when we initially like had the idea to move in it was just four of us and like we we knew luke well like donovan and eddie like were closer to luke and like i was cool with them at the time but like we didn't have that like uh close connection with him yet and i think it would have been hard to find uh five five bedrooms speaking of luke he just texted. oh yeah here i'll read this you ready he just sent this it's the uh this gives you real insight to luke he texted us, you bring your girlfriend, so oh God, <laughs> you bring your girlfriend around your homies once and they start telling you the best jokes of their lives. <laughs> like, bro. STFU. Why is there two U's? Uh, it was probably just a typo. Damn. Before I, wait, hold on. Uh, like, bro, uh, shut the fuck up before I leave her for your funny ass. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, Luke. Luke's a, he's a funny dude. Like, I mean, just we can mess with each other. Like, I don't know, people, people will, like, see us and, like, they could be like, oh, okay, like, they're really weird or goofy. But, I mean, like, we all know we're joking. Like, I don't know. It's, I think it's funny to see people's, like, reactions and stuff. Uh, it's like us, like, mess with each other, like, talking that way to people. Because, I mean, I know it's a common thing. People, like, will joke around, like, saying, like, they're in love with their boys. You know what I'm saying? But, like, um, that's, like, just thing on the internet. But, uh, it's just funny. Can we, talk, can we talk about how terrible Gracie is, though? She's not terrible at all. No? No. Besides the fact when she hated me for running for, for class president senior year. But she had every right to hate me and whatever. But, no, nah, I've never I've never hated Gracie. I know you're joking. But I think she lacks the confidence to be Luke's boy or uh, girlfriend. <laughs> Luke's no. boyfriend. What do you mean, bro? Chill. That wasn't even that bad. Lacks the confidence. Like, what does that I even mean? Know, I don't even, <laughs> like, I don't even like, know what that means. I don't know. I just, I don't know. I'm just assuming like you're trying to roast. Mm -hmm. uh, you guys always roast each other though. So like, you guys understand. Like, I know she won't like take that person, or maybe she will, and then you'll get a nice paragraph about how much of a disappointment. No, I'm just kidding. But mm -hmm. yeah. Nah. I, I mean, I went to school with Gracie, so I've known Gracie <laughs> for a long time. I did too, but that doesn't mean she knew who I was. <laughs> that shit hurts. I'm Kids human. I'm a human. Oh. oh, anyway, uh, let's <laughs> talk about Eddie next. Yeah, I mean, he just walked by. So if you hear someone bang on the door. Um, Actually, if we can have Eddie ever come. Well, Eddie's not going to do this right now. He's I probably. Yeah, I he's think tired. he's waking up from the uh, from the um, slumbers of. Yeah, it's 10 o'clock on a Sunday night. He's definitely trying to go away. Yeah. Um, but when it comes to Eddie, bro, oh, Eddie's like one of the hardest working people I know. For real. Like, I know he can hear me, but, I mean, I'll stay to his face any day. But, like, like he's really one of the hardest working people I know. Like, his work ethic, at work ethic is, like, insane. And, like, he has, like, he gets his stuff done for real. And then you have, like, he's just a goofy, funny dude. Like, I think he's hilarious. And then, um, <laughs> is he just vibing? I think he's just. Oh, uh, he's a funny dude, though. And, like. Uh, he's he's just as creative and like stuff. I, I guess I said the same stuff, but like I don't. Know, it's just very similar. We're all very similar, in that way. It's like I freestyle with that fool. Oh, here he comes! Here he comes! Oh, Eddie, you wanna join the podcast? You wanna come up in this first podcast? Or take the mic. Make sure you talk right there. Let him know. Say what's up to the people. Surprise guest appearance right here. Yes, Edward, Edward William Iwaji. People, <laughs> people really loved your quiet monologue at the end of the first yeah, video. Like that was probably like one of the most funny things that happened. Yeah, I, I had some, I had someone at work screenshot and be like, Eddie, look what I got! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! And then he showed it to other servers and stuff. He was like, "Isn't this beautiful?" <laughs> I, I like, I remember the the absolute hell I had to go through to like shoot that last thing with you, because <laughs> I go out in the hallway because Donovan's just is shut down at this point. He wants nothing more to do with anything that's going on. So we literally wrestle, and then as we go in, I remember we had to take a 30-second break because I had to catch my breath, because if I was breathing too heavy, then it would have caught it on the yeah, video. Yeah, I took your phone and recorded s some of your guys' wrestling, and that was that was brutal because Donovan purposely kept, like, the one time he wants to get involved on the channel, and it's when we asked him not to. <laughs> I know. So he, so he goes ahead, he comes into the room, he's like, ah, nah, nah, he starts making the most random noises, doing whatever the fuck he can whenever we need it to be super, super quiet and easy. And he's just, now he wants to be all crazy. He's just, he's always. Hey, we can talk about Donovan now that he's not here. I hate yeah, that. Yeah, I hate that dude. I love, I love that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah we're going to have to. You can just pass it back and forth. No, I like getting close to him. Uh, I guess I'll go first, then I'll pass it to him, then you can go. Uh, I've known Donovan for quite some time, and he's one of the most stubborn people, but, like, it's in a good way. Like, I, if that makes sense. Like, 
he's he's a good stubborn and like um i hate it but i love it because it's like whatever he doesn't take any bit like funny business like he's one of those people that like he's got your back for real like no matter what and he's he is super hard working i mean the dude works 50 60 hours plus a week and like i don't know how he does i wish i wish he didn't work as much but you got to get that cheddar you got to chase that paper or as I guess now I was told at work is people say get that chicken, but I, I, I guess I mean I don't think going? it's a thing. I've never heard it besides like the one person. But I mean I guess he can chase that chicken if you know what I'm saying. But uh, I love Donovan. Where from- you keep going to these like weird places every time you talk? Oh, I'm sorry. I love I love Donovan. That's all I gotta say. Now let Eddie um tell you how he it's really. It's not feels a phone call. Him. You don't have to like announce that yeah, Eddie's coming. I, yeah, gotta- <laughs> <laughs> like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gonna yeah, I, I gotta take this call real quick. <laughs> you can call me back at you. <laughs> I, honestly, I think where Connor got that from, he probably that probably originated from Winter Winter Chicken Dinner, and I feel like he just heard that incorrectly one day and was like, "Oh yeah, that's yeah, oh that's that's the new let's let's bacon. that's the new let's get this bread. That's the new let's get this cheddar. It's let's get to this chicken." Like, <laughs> you ever notice how old people will like? It, it reminded me when me and Connor passed off the mic. The old people will be like, all right, this is Susan. You can call me back at 330. And I say once again, 330-683. You know, like whatever they got to say. And they repeat the phone number <laughs> really slowly. So what did that have to do with Donovan? Oh. <laughs> um, <laughs> You're supposed to talk about Donovan. Well, I was talking about what Connor was saying, how he like got off the phone, but whatever. Yeah. Um, Connor, Connor's been nice to try and corral and keep what, going. What do I got to say about Don? Uh, just say whatever you want. Honestly, he's pretty ugly, but <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I love him. Obviously, I wouldn't be living ten feet away from him if I, you know, if I didn't have that love for him. I love like yeah, just like Connor was saying, I wish he wouldn't work so much, man, because I got the house to live with him, not to, not to see him once every week. <laughs> or not Donovan's yeah. the reason why you're like well Donovan's Donovan honestly in the end is the reason why this house happened oh yeah this because he introduced me to you and then that was it and then we had to go well we need a fourth and we were like Connor's cool we <laughs> should we should um yeah. ex- extend our contract but get our fourth person replaced yeah let's get Donovan out <laughs> 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 yeah all right, well, um, you know, I think I'm going to... You don't want to know what I have to say about Donovan? No. <laughs> okay, you can leave then. I know you got an exam tomorrow, and I'm sure you're stressed. Yeah, it's a it's a play, so I got I to gotta do a quick little scene. I'm, I'm very thankful that you came in here, though. Yeah, I'm pretty happy I came in, too. I originally was just going to crash it. But then you open the door and let me in, so I was. So pretty, like, it's pretty ambient here, isn't it? It's, it's just oh, candlelit. It's so nice. I could just talk into this mic and look into your eyes all night. I know. It's so nice. He's forcing me to be here. I don't, I don't really have much of a choice. Like he's holding me hostage. I don't really like it. No, well, yeah, partner. We got like 20 more minutes until we're done, so we're gonna have to reel this back in. I'm just kidding. We can quit this whenever we want. But I have, <laughs> I have more to Yo, talk let's about. Do a 24 hour podcast. <laughs> sure, you can do it. <laughs> and uh. Cizo and Nizo, 24 hour podcast. Oh, is this going to be the Connor and Eddie podcast? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, I was, okay, I'm bye. about to put the mic down. I'll call you in when you're ready. You Thank you. Um, I like this so much more. So, now that you're here, um, Uh, uh, well, before we get into this, I'm as like, I mean, I, 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 it's, I guess they don't, they can listen to it, but like, can I just have permission to use your speaker whenever? I don't know if you saw, I texted you again. I don't know, dude. We should, um, I'll put it back in your room anytime. Like, I just, I just want to use it. And then like, I realize you're, you're, I feel like I should charge you some kind of fee. No, don't you dare. <laughs> hey, there's a blue jacket out there. If you want it, it's a medium. I know this is very off topic. Honestly, Brandon never got to say how he felt about Donovan. It could be the fee, the black, the blue jacket. No, that was a really nice blue jacket, and I won't profit. I'm gonna take a look at this um, blue jacket. Brandon, go ahead, take the mic. Are you leaving? Are you leaving? Are you leaving? Hey, I'm talking to you, man. I think he's leaving. Back here. All right, good night, Eddie. Good night, Eddie. So we just we just switched spots. Yeah, I like my spots so much more than this one. 
Do you want to switch back? Actually, you know what? I'm kind of enjoying holding the mic. Yeah? You feel like a rapper? No. Nobody can hear you, Eddie. Hey, so you hey back off the, the blue jacket. It is a nice one, though, isn't it? Okay, we're, we're, we're at Plato's Closet now. Yeah, Mike came today. Mike's a blessing. Shout out, Mike. Mike, if you're listening to this, shout out. Mike, we love you. Shout, shout out. He'll probably watch this, but he probably won't watch, what, 40 minutes into it? Tell him to skip to 40 minutes into the podcast. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Actually, it'll be like 40, 22 because nah, I have to cut, I'll just, I'll tell him to I have to cut out that two seconds of footage that... Oh, yeah, where you said something you shouldn't have said. I honestly don't think... I honestly think we'll get in trouble if I post it. Yeah, nice, nice. You're going to get us arrested and the dude don't shut down. I don't think we'll get arrested. I think we're just going to get a weird man coming to the door asking us a question or two. It's like the it's like the press. What if we get big off this? Like Trump tweets about us or something like that. If 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 the day comes that Donald Trump tweets about us, and like seriously, like like no cap, just tweets about us, then we can retire. Nah. Yes. Yeah. Think of all like all that. That's like the best publicity to get. Uh, Literally well, plug your channel underneath like know. the tweet. Not all publicity is good. I know people say that, but not all publicity is good. Well, what are we what, like? I mean, like you know what I'm saying. Well, hey, I mean, but no matter what you do in life, people are gonna hate. So it really doesn't matter what well, you yeah, do. Well, yeah, if Trump's hating, then nothing we can do. Yeah, but you know what I mean. Like people, what? No matter what you do in life, people are gonna hate because people don't want to see you succeed. But like, I don't. I guess I'm different. I want to see. I want to see everyone eat, just not at my table. You know? No. You don't get that? Do you not get that reference? No, I get it, but I, I don't think it's a good analogy. I mean, I don't know. Like, I, I'm willing to see people eat, but I don't want them in my table. So, like, my table. If you think of, like, holidays and stuff, like, every, you have your table with your family and stuff. So, like, I want to be, I want my family at my table. Yeah. And your, your family at that table. What? I don't think we have milk. No, we do have milk. We have Here, milk. You can take this over. Let them know if you have oh, milk. Oh, okay. Milk. Okay. All right. I'm riding the solo. Um... For everybody who's curious, uh, Donovan is one of my best friends. I've known him longer than anybody. I think uh, both me and him have a connection we're very proud to have together. Um, and I don't think we'd change much of that for the world. He's he, he's he's a brother to the end. Uh, his girlfriend is delightful. Um, and his room doesn't smell good. But I think at the end of the day, you have to appreciate the family you choose because you chose them. So Donovan, if you're listening to this, consider this my love letter to you. And I'm still alone. Right, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. Hey, welcome back to the Dude Don't Podcast. Connor walked away because he had to grab a drink because I don't think we thought that through that we'd be talking. No. This and I still want Eddie's Oreos. Oh, you did? I've never had a peanut butter Oreo. They're good. I mean, you like peanut butter? But yeah. Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah, I like peanut butter. I like, uh, I just, I don't really like Oreos. Like, if somebody's like, hey, you can have a junk food of your choice, the top 20 is not going to be Oreos. Uh, uh, yeah, I mean, Oreos are cool, but I get sick of Oreos quick. And there's definitely other snacks out there I'd rather snack on. What? Uh, no, rent is not 1680. Internet? Yes. I- internet's the same as last... Yeah, the Last internet month. is not six, or the uh, the uh, rent is not sixteen dollars and eighty cents. If it was, we're never moving. Oh, Oh, one hundred percent. I would $16 never move. dollars a month. We can all raise our families here. We could retire with that money. Yeah, honestly, we could honestly. be retired by now. Honestly. All right. Anyway, um, man, we have probably been talking about the most random stuff today, but and it's okay. I, I don't feel like that's what we should. I, I, I like that vibe where we can really talk about anything. Yeah, I, I kept the first part of structures as I could because I had to. Because if not, we would have gotten off track within the first 20 seconds and then Man. never been able to announce anything I wanted to announce. You know, can we talk about, I know you don't, I mean, you, you listen to like more Coldplay and like other stuff. Oh, here, Spotify narrowed it down. It's pretty much, uh, since they consider Coldplay pop, that my pop rating is always going to be the highest. Because I think this year I had 97 hours listening to Coldplay. And it showed me my all-time listening uh, Charlie Brown like the song Charlie yeah. Brown I think over the decade I listened to that song for about 65 hours I believe oh 65 hours to almost 70 hours of one song Jesus. and a lot of that I think is because when I was like younger younger and I started listening to that song I would 
just play it on repeat. Yeah, but isn't this all, all like? Long. Isn't that was that? Isn't it only like a year and a recap of a year? Like, no, 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 for the decade. They oh yeah, oh the decade. decade they, they did the decade one. Yeah, so it showed me that song. Yeah, okay, never mind. I kept thinking it was a year because I know like Apple Music only does no. like a year, year and rewind, not your decade. Because like, well, yeah, Apple that, Music only came out in like 2015, so like they can't really even do like a decade thing. They could kind of. I mean, half a decade. I mean, Spotify only really has like six years. Like they've only been keeping it for six years, so it's really only six years of the decade. I mean, like it has your top song, but it doesn't show you your streams from. Oh. 2015. The only thing I like with the album music one is it shows like it shows like my top songs from 2015, 16, 17, 18, and 19 now. Like it has a playlist made of my top songs, which I thought was cool. And it's kind of fun to look back because I'm like, wow, that's what I listened to, you yeah. know? And then like, I can look at myself now, but like, I don't know. I guess that's just growing up. It's so funny because from 20, uh, what was it, 2016 to 2018, my my number one song was Charlie Brown <laughs> every year. Nice. It was every year it was Coldplay and Charlie Brown. This year. It was the state Coldplay, but it was like a song off of the Stranger Things soundtrack, and not like the actual song, like the original score. I think it was like, I think it was like Boys and Girls from the soundtrack. I just nice. thought, thought that was hilarious. But like, I don't know. The one thing I was trying to do, I was like, I know you don't listen to like a lot of rap and stuff, but no, man, like Juice World really died today, and like that that hit. Cause I, I mean I don't know how much you listen to Juice World if you even listen to him at all, but like I, I like Lucid Dreams and the the one he did with uh, Ellie Goulding. Was yeah, hate me, hate me. Yeah, yeah, I, I like those. I thought it was rap. I listened to him a lot, especially in the past like year and a half. And I want Loki hit. Like I mean, all artists dying. Like you don't want to see him and like stuff. And like Mac Miller kind of hit, but like I, I never it for me. He actually finished uh, fifth in the decade for me as an artist I listened to. He was. I don't know where he was at for me, but like. I don't, I don't know how. I didn't think I listened. I listened to him a lot. I love his last album. Yeah. Swimming Pools is like, like I listen to that to this day yeah. still. It's a very good album. No, and it's, I mean, it's sad to see them all go. And like, that one hit too. But like. That one was probably like, people are like, like this is like the the three that have like died each year out of, what was it, Lil Peep, uh, X, X, and like, or Mac. No, no, because I think they're like categorizing these three guys because they were very much like pioneers of what their sound is. Because like, oh, like they, they're yeah, like, like they do rap, but it's like a different. They do the different style. Are you oh, back? Eddie's back. Are you staying? Or are you going to go to sleep? Hold on. You didn't have to like get a mic there, but like, do you, how did you feel about Juice World dying? I mean, you can grab a mic if you want, but I mean, I swear, I honestly wanted to ask you. I just didn't get to talk to you today. Truly, I think he had some great songs. But I am aware that all rappers die, including the greats and the ter- terrible, trashy ones. So, yeah, but it was just at such a young age. I mean, I know it was a seizure, and like, I mean, I mean, yeah, he did drugs. I mean, there's, they haven't said what for sure caused the seizure. Yeah. But you can kind of guess. But it's still sad to see. I mean, I feel like 21 years old. Yeah. And you die like from a seizure in an airport. Mm-hmm. Like, and it's just like when you have such an impact on people. I mean, I don't know. He had a huge impact on a lot of people. I mean, he looked impacted me too. I mean, I just liked his music. I vibed to it. Yeah. But definitely one of the artists that I genuinely enjoyed and I didn't have to fake enjoy it when I'm trapping in the car with buddies. Yeah. Like, yeah, you, yeah, I know what you mean. There's some songs you kind of have to like, because everyone's yeah, you, hyping. You're like, so, yeah, God, I hate songs, this song. Like, but you have to just pretend like a, yeah. yeah. Sometimes you're just trying to match the energy of everybody else. Yeah. You don't want to be like the bum in the car, yeah, right? Yeah, for sure. You yeah, got yeah, to yeah. nod your head or something, tap yeah. your foot, you know? Yeah. Well, that's my input. Thank you for that. Really, really nuanced. To the point where now I've completely forgotten about what I was talking about. <laughs> um, but yeah, sad to see him go. Like, uh, like any, like any person, especially like my thing is like, I don't, uh, I don't like the most personalities of newer rappers. Mm-hmm. I just don't vibe with it. I guess I'm just at a place where I, I, it's not my thing, but he always seemed like he had like that, uh, like that, that, like, what, I don't even know what, like the spirit of a child kind of like thing. Like, he always seemed very like innocent. Like he wasn't like yeah I, don't, I mean like he just didn't mean harm type deal yeah you he want, never he, he was problems. he wasn't an, like aggressive or anything like no that. he literally talks like in his concerts like not wanting like negativity and like if you have negativity in life to cut it which is like I mean a lot of people talk about that but like you could just tell I mean he never really he was just I don't know, you could just tell he he wanted um nothing but like the best for a lot of people I mean he even tweeted and I know like right before he died um I can find it um I think I saw that tweet like someone retweeted it today yeah. 
I think he retweeted it or tweeted it like a few days ago. Let me find it. Yeah. And do you remember the uh like the I remember this like the challenge thing that popped up? Do you remember that? Yeah, the seizure. The seizure thing. Yeah, and that happened. They were literally doing it like last week on TikTok. Like that and it was uh, two his songs. Like it was two his songs. And like I know like obviously they didn't know that was gonna happen, but like I don't know, that stuff's not funny to make fun of. Yeah, I get like obviously like I, I just found it so weird because when I first saw it, I thought people literally overnight made those and like posted them and I was like that that's 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 wrong but then i figured out this was like, it was done a month ago it was like, yeah its own little mini trend to do on like tiktok, TikTok yeah appreciate it thank you yay yeah i saw it i saw it all but, right uh, i found thank the you tweet. eddie for the great night yep i found the tweet it says this life is yours do what the fuck you want do great things and change the world and don't let uh no one tell you shit and you'll be bigger than juice world like and he put that in quotations will ever be and he's going down and he's going down as a legend and he like he put dash uh drod because like that's his real name and i was just like that i mean like it's the fact that like he tweets like he just has faith in so many people and like that's so cool uh, in my opinion yeah and 21 isn't that long away from us so that's, that's scary that's... it's two and a half years yeah like, two years for you yeah that's I guess less than two and a half years for me, but still, you, I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah, it's two years away. But yeah, I mean, rest in peace, then. Obviously, yeah. sucks whenever that happens, regardless of who the. Oh, that's fun. Yeah. Yeah. No, we're good. We're good. I'll just cut that out. <laughs> no, we were well, good. It was just going to rest mode. Um, I feel like. Do you want to start start getting to a wrap up? Yeah, I feel like we've covered. It. I mean, we've covered the most random things. I'm sorry if we ever went off track. Um, I hope y'all understand, but. Oh, that's, we're that's us. We'll literally be talking about one thing and then talk about something else completely opposite because that's just what we do. Yeah, so uh, the length of this video is kind of what you'll expect from podcasts. Obviously, we'll uh, step up the tech game as we go along, but it's obviously nice. And what we're doing a lot of is just sort of making the video and getting our feet wet with it and getting the inspiration to do more. Uh, that's what happened with the first video, so... Uh, we're just kind of doing that with everything now. All of our, all of our projects right now are just sort of uh, do it and learn from it and make a better one after. So uh, obviously, like I said, I will have uh, guests in my bed. That's going to be the whole point of the series. I uh, have people come in and they lay on my bed and I interview <laughs> them in a podcast form. Um, so that should be fun. Yeah, and like, um, I know an hour is pretty long. So if you've listened this far, um. Appreciate that. Perfect, perfect. Uh, and I will also try uh, and get, at some point, an iTunes or podcast license so I can go ahead and put these up That'd there. That'd be elite. So they could be consumed in the way that they're uh, supposed, supposed to. supposed to be, yeah. But, I mean, if you're listening to this on YouTube and, like, you've actually stuck through, I know this one probably won't get as many just because it's a podcast and a lot of people don't find that interesting. But yeah. if you have listened this far, um, like, uh, we really appreciate that and, like, like I said earlier, like, we really appreciate, like, all the people that have supported us and stuff. I mean, like, Eddie talked about someone at work. And, like, there's so many people that have, like, supported us through this. And, um, like, I, I really appreciate I really appreciate that because I just, I don't know, I'm a huge person. I like supporting others. So just the fact that I see so many people support us or, like, me or whatever, like, any of you guys, it's just cool to see. Because, like, that's, I just want to see people be successful. And, like, there's people that I don't talk to often. And, like, they... Um, like they were talking to me about it when I saw them and they're just like, man, like we support you and stuff. And I, I think that's just so cool. Like, I just think it's so cool. And I, I appreciate that more. Like, it's easier said than like actually shown, but like, I promise you from the bottom of my heart, like I appreciate that. Yeah. My sister said she liked the challenge. She didn't like the challenge video. Yeah. Yeah. It's okay. I mean, people are going to like some things. People are not going to like theirs, but I mean, she loved my, uh, f uh, my camera work on the first video. Though. Yeah. No, you did good. You're good with that. Yeah, I'm good with that. And I know, I mean, I know on the challenge video, um, we kind of messed up the uh, angle. Cause, like, yeah, my head got I, it started. I was like, no. Yeah, but it was just no. so, it was kind of hard. Um, yeah, I guess for it. the setup, but I maybe mean, did the best we can. It still turned out pretty good. I mean, I ripped butt. Yeah, d yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I think that'll be a poetic way to leave us off. So um, I think uh, the way I'm gonna end these is there's gonna be some music uh, like building, like right now. And then the uh, yeah, and then the podcast, all of the lights, all yeah, of the lights. And then the podcast ends.
it ain't over. Connor's taking over. I feel like a four-leaf clover. Okay, I gotta get my car. I got my own rover. I'm just playing. I'm sorry. I wasn't supposed to freestyle. All right, well, if he, if he didn't cut this out, um, I love you guys, and um, have a wonderful night.